Hello everybody, how are you here? In this video, I'm going to continue the development of this Unity third person horror game. And in this video, I'm going to add a game reset game button to my main menu here. Let me show you. Let me hide this one how to play. I will add a button here to reset game data so player can reset all the game progress and start the game from the beginning I will duplicate this last button place it here and I rename it to reset and the text don't forget to reset game data what will what this game will do is to clip the user save data so next time the player play the game the player will start from the beginning I'm going to edit my game manager script which is here game manager let me edit it I already have this load game data and save game data functions but I don't have a reset game data function so I'm going to add public file reset game data what this what we will do here is to <coughs> reset the variables current scene current start point I'm going to reset them this way and then I save the game data pretty simple right not only to reset the current scene and current start point I also need to reset the inventory of the player here I have this uh, simple inventory .cs script we have this load inventory data and save inventory data but I don't have the reset inventory data so I'm going to create public void reset inventory and here I will copy this part and paste it here. Simple collection will be empty string and then save inventory data. Okay, and then I will call this function here on game manager when I reset the game data. I will also reset everything I will show uh, I will show an alert or a notification this way what, uh, custom notification that instance no a notification on game let me check the script this button click script no, not button custom check first 
Sun. Player ter objek pickup. Yes. I think it is inside the game manager script. Yeah. Game manager dot instant show notification. So I will only need to call this way. Call it this way. Show notification. Game that has been reset. Yeah, simple, simple. Only because I forgot way how I did it. To recall, okay. I'm going to go to main menu. Let me adjust the position of these three buttons. What is this? Oh, yeah, these three buttons. I'm going to bring them up and play the game. <coughs> To test the game reset button, I need to see where am I now in this game. Let me enter this door. Now I'm here, so I I will stop the game and restart the game. And I will try to click the reset game data button. Then, oh, I forgot again to set the on click list of this button button reset should be button clicks oh yeah I need to edit the button clicks script which is this one oh, and I will I need to add this public void reset game here I will call game manager dot instant dot reset game data reset game data okay and here <coughs> as usual we need to wait okay here we will choose this reset game let me play the game. And I will click this button. Okay, we got an error. Game manager is 49. 49. Simple inventory that instance 49. Oh yeah, I don't have the inventory instance in min inside this main menu scene. Let's stop it and I will need to open this scene. Player rig. Set this player rig, player animation. I have this simple inventory script. This simple inventory script. I need this script to be around in main menu. So I will add simple inventory. Just ignore those uh, slots. I will try to play the game again then I will try to click this button game data has been reset okay ignore this error it is from the previous run and after resetting the game data I'm going to play the game again and 
I expect the game will be started started over from the beginning. You can see that. Here I am started the game from this position and if I check my inventory you see I got the um, grey. Alright that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time in my next video. Bye bye.